Welcome to Seminoles.com Daily Report for Monday, August 31st. I'm Reed Farron. The Florida State football team continues its preparations for next Monday night's season opener against Miami at 8 p.m. But business must become before pleasure as Coach Bowden's team completed its third and final scrimmage of the preseason. And both he and Coach Fisher agreed much work is yet to be done. You know, I don't know if there's anything I liked or a bunch of things. It, it, we were just a very average day. I mean, very ho-hum and, and did some good things, did some bad things, you know. And uh, a little bit, you know, I don't say disappointing, but I thought we'd play a little sharper in that. But sometimes you come out with that mentality and that's what happens. During Saturday's scrimmage, sophomore running back Jermaine Thomas carried the ball five times and gained a total of 41 yards. Thomas, speaking on behalf of his entire team, wishes he didn't have to wait until next week to face the Hurricanes. We wish it was tomorrow, you know, but like I said, we just, we, we got to go out there confident and we got some things we need to uh, fix. So uh, once we get that done within this week, we will, we will be ready. A reminder, fans, tickets are still available for next Monday night's game. For more information, log on to Seminoles.com or call the number on the bottom of your screen. After their 8-0 shutout against South Alabama on Friday, the Florida State soccer team took a bus to face Stetson on Sunday and remain unbeaten on the year. In Friday's victory, the Seminoles had a one-goal, three-assist performance from redshirt sophomore Jessica Price, who on Sunday added two more goals to help lead her team victoriously over the Hatters 3-0, matching their record on the year. Head coach Mark Akorian likes what he sees from the athletic Jessica Price. Just a handful. I mean, she's uh, athletic as can be. She's elusive. She's tricky. Uh, in some ways, um, she's um, um, deceptive in the way she plays. And, uh, um, you know, I think that uh, in the last game, she created some chances for us. And again tonight, she created chances. And it was nice to see her finish one for herself. The Florida State women's volleyball team played three games during the Friday-Saturday Florida State Invitational and were victorious in all three. After a three-set sweep of Central Michigan, a five-set struggle against North Dakota State, and a final three-set sweep of Florida A&M, head coach Chris Poole and company were pleased but not satisfied. I think we've got the potential to have a lot of weapons on the front row. We, we, we're a pretty big physical team. Our block still isn't quite as good as we wish it was right now, but it's still much better than it's been in the past here the last few years. And so we're going to try to use that strength for our block, but then offensively, uh, we were a little bit out of sync at times, so we needed to smooth it out, but that's also typical of early season. You've got to really get into a rhythm a little bit, and, and this weekend helped, helped us some, but hopefully next week we can move forward. The Seminoles look for their fourth win of the year when they face the Florida Gators tonight in Gainesville. Seminole fans, don't forget to catch the Monday Football Press Conference with Mickey Andrews, Jimbo Fisher, and Christian Ponder live right here beginning at 1.30 p.m. on Seminoles.com as the coaches and Christian discuss the preparations for their game against Miami. That's all for now, but don't forget to follow Seminoles.com on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and download our podcasts on iTunes. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day.